Or anywhere. Except for Arrow, really, but, like, you don't oh, yeah. really pick him up. Right. But, so, this could be an interesting match. Yeah, if you don't know how to play against Shulk, it can be tough. So, going into game one here, so, yep, we got the Ryu and Shulk matchup. Now, this is, this is just one of those matchups where, like, if Shulk manages to space out Ryu, it can be really difficult. But, like, right once, right when, um... Right when Ryu gets in, he can just like destroy Shulk because Shulk doesn't really have the frame data to deal with Ryu's close-up options. Right. But Ryu doesn't have quite the range to deal with Shulk's enormous sword. Right. I know. Um, I know Big T does have this thing where he all every time he gets like a tier three focus punch, he tries to go for the uh, true Shoryu. Yeah. And it seems like he goes for that a lot uh -huh. every time you do it. So one thing I like to see from him is to uh, like try to mix it up a little and not do the focus attack every time. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, focus attack is definitely one of those things that's like once once people are expecting it, it's super punishable. Right. But it's a very good landing option. Generally speaking, wow, the YOLO is the side beast. Uh oh. Probably doing a good job of just keeping him out here and that should be it. Oh no, never mind. I thought he was in Smash. That was a good, that was a good, uh, super armor Ooh, use. the reverse hit of back air. I was gonna say, that was a good super armor usage from Big T with his focus attack. Mm -hmm. Trying to stall the hit, maybe try to get the other one. <coughs> Alright, hitting him a lot of these, just kinda out- Oh, he keeps you going for the raw DPs rather than, like, trying to set up with up tilts or down tilts. Right. Which, that's- Especially, like, against a character, like, that can punish as hard as Shulk can. It's kind of, you don't want to just throw out too many, and that would have been the place to throw out the raw one whenever he's just stuck in lag. Okay. Have Smash beaten out the other. And then again, just that raw DP. He's got, the, he's got the move down, but yeah. it seems... It, his it's usage like of it. it. Yeah, his usage of it is a bit questionable right now. I would just like to see, I haven't really seen him even throw out many up tilts at all. Back air will take it. Oh, wow. But like, up tilts and down tilts really haven't happened too much yet. Which, that's generally the core of Ryu's up close neutral. Oh, uh, good up smash from Kaze. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good because it can cover uh, landing with uh, focus since it's multi-hit. Right. When it's when they're landing like that. So it's a good option to use against Ryu's that are landing. Especially at low percents because you're not going to get punished too hard. I feel like it could oh, get hit by spike there. there. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, up air, not Ooh, taking it. just the tipper. He's playing Marth right now. <laughs> oh, Ooh, got it. Is he dead? No, he's no, not dead. No, not dead. Uh-oh. But he's in shield, so he's going to be living for a while. Oh! Missed punish there. I have, I have found out that Ryu's down air has, is a good ledge cover. Oh, it's super good. Like, I, I would be trying to recover when I'm playing Big T. Uh-huh. And he'd do a down smash, and, like, I wouldn't even touch the ledge. I would be right there, but it wouldn't, like, quite connect. Right. It would just stop you. Yeah. Ooh, catch, catching the spot dodge there. That's a suck. Yep. Yep. And there goes game one. That's four. Yeah, so just really, <laughs> like, there was some good coverage there from Kaze. Um... There were quite a few punishes that um, Big T missed, like opportunities that he could have, and that could just be partially not knowing how Shulk works. Right. Because like you said, he hasn't really played against Shulk much, and it's a weird character. But like, I feel like once he learns that, he'll be able to get a lot more punishes, because there were ample opportunities to get the Shoryukens in there. Oh, for sure. So going into game two, Kaze is already opening up, opening up with the speed. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, no punish though. Wait, why didn't he freeze? Oh, is it because he was in the air? No, he froze. He just froze in midair. Oh, okay. Yeah, you freeze like wherever you are. If you're in the air, you don't crumble. You just kind of stay where you are. Right. Uh, he's getting hit by that Tatsu. He's not. I don't. He doesn't quite know the hitbox. Tries to get in a bit too close to punish it. I don't know any of these. Up tilts into strong up tilts. Big T is coming in right now. He is, but he's also kind of, like, he's overextending a little bit. And I would like to see him just, like, play a bit more of a safe, like, spacing, like, bait and punish game. Because that's where Ryu really excels. Kaze's reading him every time he does a side beam. Yeah. Oh, just raw DP. But he's living. Wow. 
That is good DI. Well, yeah, and shield Monado. Oh, he had shield on. Yeah, he had shield on. He would super. He definitely wouldn't have lived if he didn't. I don't know if <laughs> All right, he's doing a really good job of just pressuring the ledge right now. That smash, nope, quite, not quite getting it. Ooh. He's also just doing a really good job of negating um, the fireballs coming in from Ryu. Oh, he nope, he mix, didn't get he one. He needs to mix up getting back to stage because he's getting it every time. Yeah, down smash? Wow, taking it. 154 with Kaze here. Yeah, and he can go back into shield pretty soon, so it's... what he. Oh, that'll do it, though. That was a really good setup. That strong up tilt is very good whenever they're at high percents like that. Kind of assuming he would go the other way with that uh, focus attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, trying to get the call out the spot dodge again with the down smash. Again, no punish on the Tatsu. There we go. Now he's getting. Now he's figuring it out. Calling out air dodges. That over is so strong. It's very good. Oh! That was probably not intentional. Alright, and he's only getting focused one, so that's not really too big of a deal for Kaze. He'll it's take good, the damage. It, it is good in this situation because um, it keeps him from getting hit because it has super armor. Yeah, yeah, it's a and good choice. Thing, yeah. It's a good choice, but I think at this point, Kaze is content to trade damage. Because he can, he still has Shield Monado to fall back on, and it's really hard for Ryu to kill Shulk in Shield Monado. Because one, like the thing that Ryu relies on more than anything is just his overwhelming kill power. So when he doesn't have the, oh, is he dead? No, he didn't get it. Oh, that was that was a good mix up. Uh, almost got the spike hit box. Yeah, he's living from that. Ooh, that was really really close. Yeah, that'll do it. Set going right, to Kaze there. Kaze. Yep. Good stuff.